I'm here with Nilsson Newton Sibanda. Newton, can you please introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Newton Sibanda. I um, work for the Zambia Daily Mail as a weekend mail editor and the most one environmental columnist. I cover mainly issues of the environment, water and sanitation and health. Aha. Newton, what brings you here to this uh, event in Cape Town? I have come here um, firstly for the journalist workshop, uh, which is trying to uh, train journalists on how to cover better the issues of water and sanitation, especially the, uh, based on the theme of uh, uh, the challenges of water supply in urban areas. And what, was, what did you pick up of this morning's uh, workshop? What I picked up is that um, um, most of the urban centers in the developing world have a challenge of providing clean and safe water to its uh, residents and that uh, most of the people in the world who live in the cities and will continue to live in the cities. This is against the background that water supply continues to be a major challenge for the cities. And uh, what is the relation, what can journalists do about that? I think the journalists uh, have been identified that they can play a major role of prompting governments to act to provide water and sanitation to its citizens as a matter of priority. They can raise the profile of the issue of water and sanitation and maybe probably help to, 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 to change policy. Um, and what has been the added value of uh, having you all journalists together this morning? The added value is that we are able to share our experiences while well, also learning from others. Mm -hmm. Okay, Any, but anything else you want to share with us? Um, just to say that as journalists we must keep raising the profile of the issue of water and sanitation until everyone has a fair share of clean water supply. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you.